See, our people, the 12 tribes of Israel, the majority of us think that they're Gentiles. And they were grafted in. Look at Romans 1 and 13. Now, I would not have you ignorant. Once again, we know that ignorance is what? That darkness, that not knowing. Now, I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes, who's his brethren? Paul was of, Paul will tell you who he is in Romans 11 and 1. Romans 11 and 1. I say then, after Mosai cast away his people, Mosai forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So he was a Banyanyam. He was Benjamin. Romans 1 13. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purposed to come unto you, but was led hitherto that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. But what did he say? Now I would have you, I would not have you ignorant, brethren. The last part, that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. his brethren that are considered Gentiles. Just like he was considered a Gentile. To who? To Peter and all of them that was calling themselves a circumcision from Israel. The land of Israel. Verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Amashiach Yavashai, for it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believe it, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Now, Mashiach Abishai said this in John 4 and 22. He said, you worship, you know not what? We know what we worship for salvation. That's power. Salvation, rulership. Salvation and authority is of the Jews. Now, that's what Mashiach Yavashai said. Now, Paul was dealing with the spirit of the Most High. He said, you worship, you know not what? We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Now, you see here, in verse 16, it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Mashiach, for it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jew first and to the Greek. So to the Israelites and to so-called white people, the Caucasian. What about the other people? Now that's why when you look at Proverbs 4 and 7. <clears throat> Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, which is the proper application of knowledge, and with all thy getting, get understanding. So we've got to get understanding. And that's what we're going to do for the amount of time that we have to go through this. This is what Master Akabashai told the apostles in Matthew 10, 5, and 6. He said, These twelve, Master Akabashai sent forth, commanded them, and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans in it ye not but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven which is salvation is at hand that's what he told them he told them don't go to these other nations but go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel Romans 2 and 14 Romans 2 and 14. But when the Gentiles, which have not the law, 
do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves. They're a law unto themselves. Because the law was given to Israel. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the most high. See? So he showed his word unto Jacob, the statutes and the judgment unto Israel. So how you feel about these other nations? Them as Gentiles. 1 Corinthians 10, 20. So you want to be a Gentile, huh? Okay, that's what the most high said. 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. But I say that the, gen the things that the Gentile, which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice the devils and not to the most high. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. See that? He don't want us to be having fellowship with devils. Because the Gentiles sacrificing the devils. And I don't want you to have fellowship with devils. That's why he separated us from all the nations. You cannot drink the cup of the most high while Mashiach was shy and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the most highest table and of the table of devils. See? That's why you look at Isaiah. Isaiah. 40 and 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Hear that? Isaiah 40, 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing. And vanity. Verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance, a little dust on the scale, he said. Behold, he taken up the owls, the ones, the people that live in the islands, as a very little thing. See? This is how you feel about the nations. The other nations outside of the children of Israel. Second Ezra. Second Ezra is an apocryphal. Six and fifty-four. Second Ezra six and fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou made of master of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. See how you make a difference between everybody that came and most of have a chosen people who are the 12 tribes of Israel. All this have I spoken before thee, O Most High, because thou made it the world for our sakes. He made the whole world for Israel's sake. That's what you read when you look at uh, 2 Ezra 7 and 10. And I said, it is so, Most High. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Because for their sakes I made the world. See? So don't think of someone else. He said for Israel's sake he made the world. Second Ezra 6 and 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Most High, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. 
Once again, he said, for as, the, uh, as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and as like in the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. One little drop. As is crying out to the most high, he said, Now, O most high, behold, these heathen, these other nations outside of the torture of Israel, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. He said, But we, thy people, who are the Israelites, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. You see, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance? Why don't we have an inheritance in this world? With the world, how long shall this endure? How long shall it endure? For those that ask the same question, Remember this. Matthew. Twenty four and thirty six. Matthew twenty four and thirty six. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. See? The apostles, they ask the same question. That's why this is written for the generation to come. Because they ask the same question. Go to Acts the first chapter. And verse 6. He said, when they therefore will come together after Mashiach outside, died, rose on the third day, walked the earth for 40 days. They're like, hey man, you back. So when they therefore will come together, they asked of him saying, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Without at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Because let you know that the kingdom is coming to Israel. What did he say? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. Only the Most High know. Only the Most High. That's why it says, he said, hey, all these, all these nations, all these other nations outside of the 12 tribes of Israel, they are nothing, they are counted as nothing but be like in a spittle, as it is written. I'm just reading it to you. That's what it says. Why is this? This is why. Psalms 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. See? But the Most High made the heavens. They worshiping everything that he created. And then so. So all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Most High made the heavens. That's why he told us in Jeremiah 10, 1 and 2. Jeremiah 10, 1 and 2. Hear ye the word of the Most High, which the Most High speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, O family of Israel, who live in a house family, O family of Israel. Thus said the Most High power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said, Learn not the way of the heathen that believe in idols. Their powers are idols. He said, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. We're supposed to be dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Remember? The Most High, that's why he said the Most High made the heavens. He made everything up in the sky and so forth. We're supposed to be, we're not supposed to be worshiping the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, and all that stuff, man. Everything you can think of. Then they have a, a people that died, call them Hellas Comet. Say a comet coming. They died with Nike tennis shoes on, right? Remember that? Helly's Comet? Come on. We got to come out of this wickedness, man. Look up, uh, I'm going to look up uh, the 
in the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. We're going to look up Grecians. Just like we went over earlier how Israelites took on the ways of the heathen. Like most of us said, don't do that. During Antioch's Epiphany, that's exactly what they did. And forsook the ways of the Most High and the Mashiach El Shai, the law, statute, commandments. And it was a snare unto us. Look, it says, Greece, Grecia, Grecians. Grecia is Greece, the home of the Hellenes. Greeks and Grecians, however, are to be distinguished. Greeks are generally those of Hellenic race, like I said, to the Jew and to the Greek, right? So now, looking at Hellenists. Hellenists, it says, Jews who made Greek their tongue and with it often adopted Greek ideas and practices. See? And it says to the Jew and to the Greek. No different than when we read in when the Greeks came into power. And let me just show you so you will see it's no different than our people that's making the Edomite languages, their tongue. They learn them. Look. First Maccabees 1. And verse 9. And after his death, after Alexander the Greek death, the per first emperor of the Edomite nation, the Greek empire, they all put crowns upon themselves, his four generals, so that their sons after them many years, and evils were multiplied in the earth. See, and there came out of them a wicked root, Antioch's surname Epiphany, see? Son of Antiochus the king, who had been in hostage at Rome. And he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. The first empire of the Edomite nation. And those, listen. Verse 11, in those days went there out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. And most I said, learn not to wear the heathen. Let us make a covenant with the heathen. That's what they said. Let us make a covenant with the heathen. that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward therein, herein, that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. See? Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen. See, we didn't have that. This is according to the customs of the heathen. And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. Hmm. Just what Israel did. And followed the wicked way of Antioch's epiphanies. I gave you uh, earlier, if you go into the lesson, you recall the lesson I went into uh, from 41 down. Verse 41 down already. So you can go back and look at what we did and you can look at what we're doing right now. As a people. While we destroy. Hosea 8 and 8. 
Hosea 8 and 8. Israel is swallowed up. Now shall she be. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. So you got to see there's two types of Gentiles. Because our people today call themselves Gentiles. And we know that these other nations are called Gentiles too. Because it says, for they are, listen, Israel is swallowed up. Hosea 8 and 8. Now shall they be among the Gentiles, among these other nations, as a vessel wherein is no pleasure, and no pleasure coming to us. When we among these Gentiles, St. John 12 and 17. St. John 12 and 17. The people, therefore, that was with him when he called Lazarus out of his grave and raised him from the dead bear record. When the Mashiach of Shai called Lazarus out of his grave after he had been dead four days. For this cause, the people also met him, for that they heard that he had done this miracle. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing? Behold, the world is gone after him. See, they, they are, they're afraid that the what world is this? The world of Israel, when you read Isaiah 45 and 17. It's hip talk. But you have to know what they're saying. It's like we have what, you, what, what the white man called Ebonics. We have different sayings that we have that we understand he called it we call it slang he called it had the nerve to call it ebonics but now you see them saying 24 7 and the things that they call slang and and ebonics they're something they're saying it why to be cool to be hip <laughs> isaiah 45 or 17 but israel shall be saved in the most high by showing my shot kill shot with an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded, which means confused, world without end. See? So that's the world that we see in here in John 12. Verse 19. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing? Behold, the world is gone after him. They're so afraid of losing their power with the Romans and with the people. So the world, this world is going after them. Let's talk, talk about Israel. They say Israel is that world without end. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came. Therefore, to Philip, which was of Bethsaida, Bethsaida, Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him. Philip coming to tell of Andrew and another. Note that your conference will expire and another, in ten and another Andrew and Philip tell Amashiach got shot. This is one of our brothers. Now. When you look at John the seventh chapter in the thirty-third verse, it says, Then said the Mashiach of Hashem to them, Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me and shall not find me, and where I am thither ye cannot come. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed? This is the Israelites among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles who are the Israelites who are scattered where? Among the Gentiles. And Mosai said he was going to do that in Deuteronomy 28 and 64. This happened. 
That's why I look at James 1 and 1. Nobody can gain on this. So all you Gentiles that want to go to James 1 and 1 or any of these scriptures, it's all directed to we the Israelites. It's not your book. It's our book. James 1 and 1. James, a servant of the Most High, and of the most of the Bashiach Yahweh our power, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. Simple. To the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. Simple. Who's it talking to? The twelve tribes of Israel. No more, no less. The whole Bible is talking to us. He just deal with certain certain people as they come involved with us. That's the most I bring them into our realm. Because he said he only know Israel in Amos 3, 1 and 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom and we out.